Okay, now I'm going to take, instead of using um, Urban Decay, I'm going to use Fresno's Rose Paint Pot. And of course, apply that on my whole lid. I'm doing a sunset eye, which consists of um, gold, um, two sets of orange, and a little black. But it's not really going to be a smoky eye, but it's going to be very pretty. And the reason why I use the pink Fresno as a as um to give the orange a little little glow, other than using Urban Decay. Okay, I have that. My eye. So what I'm going to take first is my HIP, which everybody's been getting, which this is um flamboyant and I'm going to use the gold color and I'm going to use my fluff chisel Italian badger brush from Coastal Sands and I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply that into the inner corner like one third across of the lid like so This color is very, very vibrant. I love it. Do the same with the other eye. I know this is a two part, but I still want to try to do it a little faster because I don't want it to go over 20 minutes. Okay. This is so pretty. I could wear this color by itself already, just by itself. This is, I love it. Now you want to fade the top of it so it looks like it's like you're blending it. Even if you didn't put a highlighter, you don't want to show that line. So this is what you should get. Next, using the same brush, I'm going to go into my palette. And I'm going to use this color right here, which is Paro, Paro Disco. I'm going to use Paro Disco same brush look how much this brush picks up product and I'm going to go right over the flamboyant and then go all the way over with the power disco I'm going to put on a lot do the same thing with the other eye. Don't be afraid to pack on that color. I'm blending as you go. See? We're already starting the sunset, right? Okay. Making sure that I have enough of the light orange. Using the same brush, I'm going to take this beautiful orange color, which is called Coppering by MAC. The same brush. This is one of my favorite colors, too. And go right over and bring that over to the crease, but I'd like to reverse it and push it back going that way. So you want to push it towards the orange, not away from it. Like that. And that's the effect you should get. Start this way here to give you a... And then push back towards the light orange. So that's what it looks so far. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, now after you've done that, I'm going to take my black from my neutral palette, this color right here, which is black tide. 
and I'm going to take my 217 brush which is a blender brush and gently gently so gently pick up a little product not too much like that and then you're gonna come right at the end the crease of it and you're gonna put it there and then you just gonna sweep just sweep see you want to put too much because we're going for that sunset effect. You want to sweep it, just sweep it. Go on this side, go right like if you're lining your eye, place it and sweep. Just sweep. Now I like it lightly, so because I don't want to take away from the beautiful copper ring. But you could put as much of this as you like because you're blending at the same time. So what I'm doing is like I'm kind of like twisting the brush a little bit. So that's a look. And like I said, you could put as much as you like. Then I'm going to clean off my blending brush. And I'm going to go back and blend it the colors just a little. Not too much. Okay. Now over here, I seem to have lost just a little bit on my orange, which I don't like because that's the main color of the sunset. So I'm going to put just a little back where I seem to lose it over the black because I want the orange to show. That's the popping color, the main color of the sunset. You don't want to take away that color. So that's the look you should have so far. Now going to take my highlight color which is going to be I'm just going to use a neutral color I'm going to use right here and this is orb it's like a matte color I'm going to take the same 217 brush at the tip of it and go right in the crease right under the eyebrow not too much just a little See? now I'm going to take my angle 266 in my fluid line and I'm going to go into the tear my water line with it make sure that you do it that is noticeable Now, I really don't want to put none on top because I like the look that it is. But just for my viewers' sake that a lot like to wear it, I'll do it for y'all today. It's a very thin line. Actually, this one came out thick, but you get the idea. Okay. 